There is a way to dynamically change an image based on the value in another cell using Microsoft Excel. You can use any image that you want, and the process is very straightforward. So let's learn how to do this. Suppose we want to compare the difference in profit between June of this year and June of last year, and see the percent change, the difference divided by last year's profit, and then automatically display a specific image here based on this value. Step one is to find the images we want to use. To do this, I will go to the insert menu and in the pictures drop down box, hover the mouse over place over cells. I can insert a picture from this device, meaning from my computer, or from the stock images. I am going to select a sticker. This image size is way too large, so I will zoom out and adjust the size. The second step is to place the image in a cell. To do this, drag the image so the upper left hand corner is over an empty cell, and with the image still selected, on the upper right hand corner, there is a small icon. If we click on this, it places the image inside the cell. You can adjust the row height if you want to see it better. And if you want to move the image back out of the cell, you can click again on the small icon. We need one more image. Let's take a shortcut and insert an image directly into a cell. So I will click in this new cell and then go back to the insert menu and in the pictures drop down box, this time choose place in cell. and then choose an image. The third and final step is to write a formula telling Excel when to display each image. If I go to an empty cell and just type the equal sign and click in cell D1, it now contains a copy of that image. This means we can use the cell address D1 and D2 in a formula to achieve our desired result. Let's try that here with a basic if statement. If the cell C6 is greater than or equal to zero, then display the first image, which is in cell D1, so I will type D1. Otherwise, display the second image, which is in cell D2, and press Enter. It looks like it's working. We have a positive image to go with the profit increase. If the profit does not change, it is still the same image, which is correct. If the profit decreases, then it displays the second image, so very good. In this example, I used illustrations or stickers, but you could also use a photograph like this picture of a sailboat by following the same steps. Hover the picture so the upper left hand corner is over an empty cell, go to the upper right hand corner, and click the icon to insert it in cell D1. Let's go back to the original images, and of course we could cut and paste these to a separate worksheet. And now we have a report with an image that dynamically changes based on the value in another cell. I hope this video is helpful. If you enjoy learning about working with data and creating data visualizations, please consider subscribing to this channel.